welcome back to It's Ryan, and today we're going to be reviewing Ronald L. Smith's book, Gloomtown. When 12-year-old Rory applies for a job at a spooky mansion in his gloomy seaside town, he gets a bad feeling about the owner, Lord Foxglove, but he and his mom need the money, so he takes the position anyway. Roy soon finds out that his new boss is not just strange, he's not even human, and his over otherworldly plans might threaten everyone in town of gloom. Together, Roy and his friend Isabella set out to uncover what's really going on at Foxglove Manor and find themselves facing forces more dangerous than they could have imagined. Can two kids defeat a group of ancient evil beings who are determined to take over the world? And the main characters are Rory, Isabella, War Foxglove, Rory's mom, and Mara. And the setting mostly takes place at Rory's house, Izzy's house, Black Maddie's, the manor, and the docks. What happens in the book is that Rory and his mom live alone because Rory's dad was lost at sea. Rory and his mom were poor and they need money, so one day, Roy found a job at Foxglove Manor so he could be a valet for Lord Foxglove. Then weird stuff starts happening. Like, Rory has dreams about this woman named Mara. People's shadows are being stolen. And Rory finds a heart and later some human bones. Throughout the book, Rory and Izzy, who is a fortune teller and Rory's best friend, investigate what's really going on while also trying to figure out who Mara is. And my favorite part was when Rory found something strange in the back garden. <laughs> Tending to the soil, trying to make things grow. Unfortunately, the dim sunlight made, a made it a difficult task, but weeds and ivy didn't need a lot of sun to thrive. Rory kneeled next to a tangle of brambles and started cutting. It was hard work, and even though the air was cool, the weak sun felt good on the back of his neck. He chopped at a thick, garnered root with the spade and began to hum a tune. It was a song his mum used to sing to him when he was young, and the melody came back easily. The dragon of the sea, a mighty sailor was he, but his ship was lost. Thunk, Rory stopped his digging. He had hit something hard, a stone. He tapped the point of his spade to the ground. Thunk, thunk. There was definitely something there. He could feel it. He dug around until he saw a black square about the size of one of Izzy's cars. He looked back toward the house and its windows. No sign of Malvanius. Roy set down the spade and carefully brushed away the dirt with his hands. It was a box. It looked like it could have been Lankward at one time. Some of the sheen was still visible. He lifted it from the ground. A silver hinge fastened it shut. Roy unclasped it. He lifted the lid. Inside the box was a heart. Hope you guys enjoyed this book. It came out in February. So you guys can order it online or at your local bookstore. And I'm going to give this copy to my friend, Kari. She was interested in reading the book. So this giveaway is for her. Bye guys, make sure to subscribe.